All right, welcome back to Show Us Your Shanty. Once again, we're out here on Mille Lacs Lake. We uh, got an invite from one of the uh, Wheelhouse Warriors uh, members, actually the person who runs the whole organization. So we're going to try to meet up with her today and maybe a couple other of the uh, Wheelhouse Warriors. Next weekend, they're having a big event out here, uh, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it up for that event. So we're going to try to do what we can this weekend since we have the day off. Uh, but we have upgraded our prize pack for today. We have a 24 in or a 24 pack of bush light. We got the uh, special edition ice fishing pack with the uh, measuring board on there. It's really windy today, so we're trying to find a good opportunity to get in to see some of these houses. Uh, maybe this wind will die down, but uh, come along with us and uh, let's see some shanties. guys hi hey guys hello hi, how are you good i brought you a gift oh nice here you go hi, hi. <laughs> oh dogs we chill out dogs <laughs> so go ahead and introduce yourself i'm karina johnson okay. and this is john bauer get in here <laughs> and tell us about your shanty so this is i don't even know how big it is it's a 24 foot ice castle it's a 2019 i believe uh, 20th anniversary, anniversary edition. Very so, nice. And yeah. how long have you had this one? Well, our first house was had some issues, and so it was sent back to the sh to the shop. And Malacca Unclaimed Freight and Ice Castle were so good to us that they, and it was right before ice fishing season. So they quick gave us this one. Nice. So it replaced our old one. So we've had this one for two years now. This is the third season. Is it, is it third? Yep. That goes so fast. So, so we heard through the grapevine, and first of all, thanks for the invite, but you're having an event next weekend. Why don't you tell us about, you know, the Wheelhouse Warriors and who you are and how you represent that? Yeah, Wheelhouse Warriors is a nonprofit organization. We're a Facebook group, and we give back to veterans, active military, law enforcement, and firefighters, and just the community as a whole. So we do a lot of different community projects as well as supporting all of those uh, community service people. Okay. So, and we have an event next weekend that is up here at MSA Flagship, uh, Dickies, out of MSA Flagship, and it's February 11th through the 13th, and we'll have a fishing contest, we're going to have Vendor Row, we got a bunch of vendors coming out, uh, we're doing a fishing tournament, a statewide tournament, and an event-only tournament, we're going to have a huge raffle, <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun, and then we have Charlie Darmer coming to do live performance on Saturday night. And we have a bunch of surprises mixed in there for those that attend. They'll get to be part of those surprises. So very cool. So that will all be all headquartered at the uh, at the ramp or the launch there. Yeah, right, you... right when you came on at yeah. MSA Flagship, they've already plowed out a huge area there. That's where Vendor Row and our big trailer for our raffle is going to be. And then our team is also going to be parked along there. So and that's open to anybody, whether anybody, you're a... everybody. Okay. Yep. You don't and you don't even have to own a fish house or wheelhouse to be there and we aren't brand specific either so at one and all come I don't care if you don't even ice fish and you just want to be part of an amazing community come on out so. and you said there's gonna be vendors there like selling you know wheelhouse stuff selling that their items yep we have people that are doing decals we have Bernie's Bloody Mary kit that's gonna be there so that's not really a fishing thing but it's kind of a staple in your fish house to have Bloody right. Mary's so she'll be out here um, we have ice bug lures are gonna be here they're one of my favorite um, Lures and Seasons Tackle, another one of my favorite. Um, I'm trying to remember everybody off the top of my head. Foremost Fabrication, they do the flag poles, like what you see out there. Um, they'll be out here. Do you remember, Board Paul Designs, Amy Lynn Smith Designs is gonna be here. All, Amy Lynn Smith does like rugs and decals, and so does Board Paul Designs. They do a lot of decals. 
Lots so, of different so. Oh yeah, we have Northwoods, oops, Northwoods gunsmithing. They donated our top two prizes this year. We have an AR-15 and a shotgun, nice. Winchester shotgun for a raffle. And he'll be out here cleaning guns, jewelry on the ice. Um, and then we have Sven Sleeves coming, so that's exciting. So if someone wants to customize their wheelhouse, it'd be a good place to come and just shop around for some stuff. We don't mind showing people our house. A lot of people are on our page, want to have a fish house, but aren't quite sure what they want yet. And as you can see, our friends over here have a Yeti. We have friends over here with ice castles. I mean, come tour them. People don't mind at all. If you knock on the door and say, hey, do you mind if I just take a look at your your fish house? Just trying That's to get some That's exactly ideas. what we're doing. Yeah. We're just, and uh, yeah, we're just, because I've fished all my life. My wife hasn't been out on the ice a lot, and she's like, you know, I wonder what they look like inside. You know, I was like, let's right. let's do a video and, and go around and see what some of these look like. Well, so. the winter event would be a great place to come for you guys to do a ton of videos. It's a really, really, I'm so, so proud of the amazing Wheelhouse Warrior community we have. Everyone is so nice and kind to one another. I really love it, so it'd be a great event for you guys to come and do some door knocking. Awesome. So on a side note, I actually met Peter and Jen, the Bloody Mary, through catfishing. So yeah. um, we spent, and I, they, we've done some, a couple of events with them too for catfishing, so that's really cool. And, and Good Bloody Marys, they've donated yeah. a couple of their kits to my catfishing contest, so that's very cool. Awesome. They're very yeah. wonderful people. But yeah, they'll be here. They rented a nice shack. They're going to be out, and then they're going to be selling their product too. Very so cool. you'll have to come and see them and knock on their door. But um, yeah, a lot of people would be more than happy to give you a tour. That's so, sure. how is fishing? It's been pretty slow. It's been pretty yeah, slow. It's been pretty slow this weekend. But we're also getting ready for the event. So, we haven't been in our house too much this weekend because we've been having meetings and going and trying to set up ice, plowing some roads, um, trying to get things ready for next weekend. Yeah, hopefully the wind dies down a little bit for next week. And that wind, it, ab above everything, the wind just really heck wrecks havoc with right. you know the roads you and stuff out, out there. Out there. Much of it. That was an <laughs> adventure for you, wasn't it? <laughs> I heard a no wow a few times. <laughs> It sounds like she had quit the adventure coming out here. <laughs> so the to explain to your viewers, the weather out here, as you're driving out, we were plowing a road, and no sooner did we plow, the roads have been drifted back in. So it was quite the adventure. Yeah, and, and uh, Karina dropped me a pin, and uh, I would have never found it. Even with the pin, like the road system out here is just, you know, you don't understand it until you get out here, and there's mm -hmm. just literally goat paths getting to some of these houses. So I really appreciate them coming to get me because yeah. I wouldn't have got out here probably. Yeah, so we make sure you have a clean path to get in and out. Yeah, too, so. this is great. So. Uh, this particular shanty, what, I mean, what is your, do you have a favorite feature on this? Uh, the slide out probably. Yeah, yeah. the slide out, we, we had that in our last house and I love it. It just creates so much more room. As you can see, it ends up being our dog bed. <laughs> um, we have two white labs, LNCC. We try to bring them with us as often as we can and that is their bed. I usually have a, a down and a blanket on it, but I put it up for you guys. So can you explain how that works? Is it sure, just a button that you... you uh... So we have a button right here. It just says in and out. So yep. if I want to pull it in, I just hit this button. I'm only going to bring it in a little bit because oh, I have yeah. my line. Yep. Oh, yeah. So the little so... thing just slides right in. So and then, just... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. And our first house, it was one of the first hybrid models that had a slide out. And they hadn't quite perfected it yet, which, they, like I said, the Ice Castle and Malacca and Claim Freight were awesome to work with, even with the problem. But they didn't have these vents in the beginning, and these vents are key. So if you're getting frozen, you can just put a hair dryer up there, oh, nice. and you can defrost your gears so that you can pull it back in. I see. Yeah, I imagine that would frost up pretty, pretty heavily. That's yeah, what happened so. on our first one. They didn't have that, and it froze out a few times. Yeah, so. just so to, to explain why you would do this is so... You can have eight, it's eight feet, right? So eight feet is road legal, so you can only have eight feet on your trailer. Mm -hmm. So this allows more room once you get out on the ice here. So right. um, some of them have pretty large slide outs actually, and you just gain that much more room. So yeah. cool. And we like the bed too. Yeah, I like the bed being able to go up to the ceiling, as you can see over here. Yes, that, so I noticed Put it all the way down. a lot of, you want to come over here? Mm -hmm. So I noticed a lot of people, like that back bay area, that's where they like to put their TV back there. Out. So we usually will have the fireplace on just for a little bit of ambiance. Okay. Two TVs in here because we have four kids besides. So <laughs> we have this big TV here and then we have a little TV back there so they kind of jump into each other. Yep. So when the boys are in here, um, sorry three kids, four. <laughs> I always count you. I'm so sorry. I have four kids. We have three kids. Um, <laughs> so that way when the boys are here, they can all, you know, have TV and we can jump around and all watch a movie together, even when our bed's down and they're sleeping. So that works out really slick. Very cool. And it looks like you're playing a little cribbage there, huh? We love cribbage. 
I'm the reigning champion right now. So far. So far. <laughs> the last house we were at, they had, I don't know what they have, like about 10 people in there. They, were, they actually had a, a bingo balls and everything and they oh, were they wow. had the actual cards and the the roller and the balls and they were playing bingo they were going to play bingo so yeah, that was kind of a, you'll find a lot of little wheelhouse warriors things so this is a wheelhouse warrior oh look at that yeah that's board. really cool that the chop shop made for us I'll and then we have our a, stove cover over there of that. that's darren paul lion decker he does a lot of woodwork and he gave that to us okay very nice a lot of fun fishing things in here that um some people have some people don't have so is it more about being out here or fishing well, the last few years have been good. This year's just been slow. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. The last few years that we've been, we've done really well over here. What? So, what's your favorite bait to use out here? Shiners, if you can get them. Shiners, yeah. the shiners <laughs> or suckers. Yeah. 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 Nothing, no special lure or no, anything. They're just, no. they like pink, pink lures for some reason. So. And how yeah. deep of water are you fishing here? Right here, it's about thirty-one feet. Okay, so we're this is pretty much out on the mud flats then. Where we are July. Here. It's the end of the July. Part. Okay. Kind of. And how many holes do you have? So you have, we have eight in the house, but we only have four drilled out. Okay, yeah, so you can do two. Or per five person, drilled out. We have so, five drilled out because yeah. we have an underwater camera too. Yep. So we'll hook that up to the TV so we can watch on camera, which is kind of fun. Sometimes you'll watch yourself catch a fish. It's kind yeah, of cool. Yeah, that's a fun way to do it. It'll yeah. All right. A lot of times people are like, what do you do with your remotes? So here's the trick Velcro. You get this Velcro and you just open up one of your things. And this is where we keep all Look of our that. stuff. You just Velcro your remote there. So when you're traveling, you won't lose them. They won't bang around. You won't lose the batteries. Do they survive the road trip? Always. Because yeah. they're, yeah, they never move. Cool. Yeah, so that's one of our little Great hacks. Great tip. <laughs> awesome.